what survived? What's it gonna take to survive an EF5? Because we do have them here in Oklahoma as well as the rest of the, the country. I could see the entire neighborhood devastated, except for a couple of small square structures out there. And I kept thinking, what in the world is that? And that was my first real introduction to safe rooms back then. Well, FEMA wanted, started a program to get everybody above ground because after F5s or F4s or F3s go through communities, they have a hard time finding the people that are trapped under the debris in the storm shelters. But when that F5 hit in Moore, Oklahoma, and we showed up, and my whole life changed because, you know, when I seen the devastation, now I knew what they were talking about. And when those families seen my father and they were hugging him and crying and thanking him for giving him a place to go, you want to talk about putting wind in my sails? That's when I knew we were on to something. Ten years I studied, I went to all these, and, and most of this during my Channel 9 years, uh, looking at devastation. Different shelters, different structures, I want something within arm's reach that I can walk into. And I came across Oz. And the first time I looked at it, I told myself that is the best in the world. And it took only an instant for me to realize that Oz was what I wanted. When I started working with concrete, I was 15 years old. We're building manholes and retaining walls. I asked the carpenters on the job if we can build wooden forms and started doing our own structures the way we wanted to do them. As we kept doing it, it just got better and better. FEMA called me and told me the problems we were having with tornadoes. When I studied the project, I realized that they needed something above ground then I decided to take my technology and pour the first above ground monolithic safe room. I felt like Noah <laughs> building the ark, but it was FEMA that convinced me, I could hear it in their voice, how important this project was. They knew that these bad tornadoes were on their way and they knew and told me that these tornadoes are gonna get worse. When we were building the first safe room ever in history above ground, you know, I, I remember people in upstate New York were looking at my father like he was crazy. You know, what Oz Safe Rooms does is we can go to a customer's house, somebody's home, and form and pour them a monolithic structure and put this family in a comfort zone. When these storms are coming, one of the worst places to be is underground. That's why we came above ground with this safe room. I formed the structure, we poured a structure and we stripped the structure. Oz Safe Rooms is a true manufacturing company. We handle every step of the way with this process. People were worried about the competition. There's not another product on the market that you can compare the Oz Safe Room to. It is F5 proof. So, you know, that's why we started a program removing these storm shelters here in the state of Oklahoma. So what we're doing here is we're replacing the so-called competition with the world's safest above ground Oz Safe Room. The best part about Oz Safe Rooms and getting people to invest in this company for the expansion is it's a life-saving product. I had this feeling that I had to do this. And like I said, when we got hit and those families were crying and hugging me and thanking me in Moore, Oklahoma, I knew that this was something that saves lives. Then when I seen it with my own eyes, I said, we have to get as many of these structures up as humanly possible. And that's one of the reasons that we want people to invest in our company so we can expand and take this technology in every state in the United States and probably the world. And, um, it might give us a peek at the gates. You know, come and join us on expanding this life-saving product. Being underground is one of the worst places to be during a tornado. That's why you want to be in an Oz safe room. Water goes down. Metal is a conductor. So please, 
take a look at a proven product, the Odyssey Firm.